time for another four hour competition entry with um backstage three electric boogaloo why it's got symphony up at the top i don't know though i guess it's meant to be a more serious entry you know despite being made in four hours maybe they're planning on doing updates on it later but never got around to it but we'll see from what i've been told this is basically just a short story that takes about 10 to 15 minutes to get through so I'm not expecting a ton of content here, much less I get to really interact with the game that much. Hmm. Is that a dead buy on that car, or is that meant to be a paint job? Or is it blood? Okay. Putting on a cigarette, huh? Okay. Sure, the mailbox reads Atlantic Psychiatry. Well, I guess we just gotta go inside, huh? Well. I guess we're one messed up dude. Can I help you? Um, I'm Reginald Fontaine. I'm here to see Dr. Benaway. What is your name? Reginald Fontaine. And you're here to see Dr. Benway. Do you have an appointment? Yes, I do for now. Uh, sign in over there. Boom. You just have a seat anyway. <laughs> anyway? Anywhere. Dr. Benway will see you shortly. I guess I could have picked a farther away chair, but why do that? Wow, that's shortly. Well, let's see the patient now. Mr. Fontaine, come this way. Okay. Yeah, I know. I was wondering if you had anything more interesting to say. Okay. Well, of course it is. Man. Can't even do anything interesting with that. And a potted plant. A seat anywhere. Well, then I want the big seat. Sergeant, what seems to be the trouble? Did I say something funny? Or it's just that it's your opening gambit. So I also have gone with nice weather we're having. <laughs> Should we talk about doctor patient confidentiality? Seems like you're old enough to know about that already. Yeah. How old are you, Reginald? Just turned 25, like yesterday, and please call me Reg. Not really. Something in particular happened that upset you? No. I'm not asking for your life story, but unless you give me something more than muzzle of grunts, we're just wasting your time, and my time, and your money. Dara, in the interest of full disclosure, I don't particularly want to be here. You don't say. My present here is effectively me fulfilling a prerequisite, nothing more. Prerequisite for what? My parents continued support. Financial support, I mean. I see. Some birthday present, right? How about that? My mother really beat me out of the house with a broom when I turned 18. She be a bit more grateful that your parents have supported you for this long. Huh. <laughs> Lots of cars were supposed to be all non judgmental and shit. I don't need a guilt trip from yet another source, you know. Get enough of that already, most importantly for myself. Different schools of thought on therapy. You may be thinking of classical psychoanalysis. Anyway, it's a generational thing, isn't it? A lot of people my age are still getting help from their parents nowadays. Wait, I'm just lucky they're well off. Well, that's true. What do you do, Reg? Your name. It's, it makes a lot of no money. I do it. I write poetry. I paint. I play the violin. What particular concerns your parents? Eh, it's their bloody dime, right? Hearing a lot of resentment. Let me guess. No shit. Anyway, Reg, as far as I'm concerned, it's your dime. We're here for the hour anyway. 
Do you want to make it productive or not, you know? I my parents' primary concern is the amount of drugs that I do on a day-to-day -day basis, but... Sometimes I worry they think I'm a homosexual. I'm not, incidentally, and they're a lot, like, bigoted. They're fine with it, in theory, just not their son. Uh, well, for a substance abuse problem, you should really be in rehab, not here. Don't have a substance use problem. I said I do a lot of drugs. Two of them are addictive, and the ones that are, I'm not addicted to them. What drugs, Reg? Doctor patient privilege, right? It's spelt wrong. <laughs> right. Uh, hash and when I can get it. Pot when I can't. Shrooms, peyote. Jeez. Basically, it's a little bit of everything, apparently. Uh. Caffeine, cigarettes, you getting the picture? It says here also prescribed, oh, specific clinical doses. Last not least, there's the drugs that are arbitrarily deemed societally acceptable. It's all on medication, Reg, self and otherwise. I'm wondering what the underlying condition is. You don't have it in your little file there? I'm not seeing a solid diagnosis here, but, and this might surprise you, I don't have absolute faith in the DSM. Four, or I'm sorry, three, or it's really to pin everyone with a correct and meaningful label. I'd just rather hear what's been troubling you from you. Got a checklist of symptoms or something like that? Got some Likert skills for the fill out? It's clear here you've been a lot of practitioners. Studied it in school, too. You could probably fake any diagnosis that you wanted. You're obviously a smart guy, Reg. Why should that work against us? Reg? Jeez. Ugh, the world's not there. <sighs> I capture what I mean in words, especially in prose. I've... Trying poetry and art and song and never quite capture it. It's as if that places that I go to are just sets filled with props. The people I care about most don't really know me at all. They're actors reading their lines. Or else it's just an extra. They don't even have any lines. And I've never seen a stage being broken down or a set built for me. Not, not directly. Never seen an extra miss their mark or flub their line. Not really seen it dead on, but sometimes I think I can see them out of the corner. My eye watching me, arranging things behind the scenes. More than the peripheral glimpses, though. I have these half-remembered childhood dreams. Fever dreams that are lost to me now. There being another world. A world behind this one, hidden behind false walls and doors that I can't see anymore. Ever have that feeling, Doctor? What's the word for it? Dissociative? Is that it? Schizophrenia? Essentially everything I do, not just the drugs. It's just a distraction from the scale knowledge that it's all cleverly constructed artifice. Kind of rendered hoax. All for my benefit. All for me. Like when I'm not in a place, that place is empty and deserted and dead. Ah... Well, of course it is. Well, sounds of power psychotic mentions still alongside other knickknacks behind the glass. Of course there isn't. Oh. Okay. From Chong to the DSM-4. There's also an array of Larry Classics as well. What, I gotta figure out a puzzle? Yes, of course it is. Well, no. Of course it's locked. Something gross is smeared on the bulletin board. Oh, that's not very helpful. 
Well, now. Good question. Desk key. Okay. Ugh. Eh, of course it's locked. And someone's calling. No, you're there, Lucy. Pick up the goddamn phone. Well. Ugh. Well. I guess we can use that. Masking tape. North wing, it says. There's also a sample quantity of threes in here. Okay. Oh, great. I guess we really should have ingested it. Tch. Ugh. Gosh darn it. Ugh. Gotta keep moving. Ugh. Let's not make the same mistake again, I guess. Yes. Okay. Ah, joy, it's smeared with blood. And everyone's dead. Okay. Freaking crow, of course. Okay. Well. Oh, great, the lights are going off. dead. Again. <laughs> Four hours worth of backstage three. <laughs> okay. So what other horrors will befall us? Oh wait, we never got a follow-up on this. <sighs> Till next time, then. See ya.